What's up, everybody? This your boy, Mr. Pound for Pound himself in the flesh. Back at it once again. You know what I'm saying. It's all good. To all my homies out there, what's up? All my YouTube people, what's up? Holla at me. All right, let's get into it. I'm talking about Mikey Garcia versus Juan Manuel Lopez. It is definitely going to go down June 15, 2013. You know where to be. You need to be in front of your TV or you need to be at the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas, where it's definitely going down for the vacant WBO featherweight title. You know what I'm saying? Mikey Garcia, Juan Manuel Lopez. The records speak for themselves. Mikey Garcia, 31 0. 26 knockouts you know what i'm saying as far as juan manuel lopez 33 two losses 33 wins 30 knockouts i mean the records speak for themselves this is going to be a great fight for as long as it lasts i think it has action written all over it i don't really see a boring fight i see uh juan manuel lopez coming to fight i see mikey garcia coming to keep what he's already got going as far as establishing himself as a young bright talent and uh it's going to be a good fight. I'm just going to touch a little things on this fight for both fighters. Uh, and, and that's about it. And then um, you guys go ahead and get at me with your, you know, comments, responses, reactions and stuff like that. Let's go. Let's get into it. All right. So as far as uh, Mikey Garcia, basically real, real good fighter. I mean, we've all seen him. He's only 25 years old. You know what I mean? He's an orthodox fighter. He's about 5'6". He has a nice, good boxing style. I mean, he's a pure boxer. Uh, not too much in the way of power, even though he does got 31 wins, 26 knockouts, but he doesn't have that one punch, you know, Tyson style, uh, really, really exciting type knockout power yet. But we know maybe in the future we will see that. He's still 25. He's still growing. Um, in his last fight against Orlando Salido, he had Salido down twice in the first round, and then he put him down again in rounds three and four. And unfortunately for the accidental headbutt, you know, the fight had to be stopped due to a broken nose in round eight. But Mikey Garcia definitely, definitely held it down against Salido, something that Juan Manuel Lopez could not do. Uh, Juan Manuel Lopez fought Salido twice. He lost to Salido, both by knockout. Um, <clears throat> the first fight, he lost by knockout in the eighth round. Second fight, he lost by knockout in the tenth round. Uh, both brutal fights, both brutal wars. The only problem is in those fights versus the Mikey Garcia-Salido fight, the reason why I'm comparing the two is because they have one similar opponent. Uh, with the Mikey Garcia-Orlando Salido fight, uh, Mikey Garcia did what you needed to do, box. You know what I mean? You box Salido, um, you, you go around him, you box him, you outspeed him, you outsmart him, and then you knock him out. Uh, power punches when you need to, good defensive movement. In the Juan Manuel Lopez fight, when he fought Garcia, totally different fight. Um, you know, head-to-head -head battle, uh, brutal brawl, kind of one of those you throw your punches, I'll throw my punches, and whoever gets caught on the chin, that's pretty much what it's going to be. That was the type of fight that was. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, Juan Manuel Lopez came out on the short end of the stick. Uh, as far as Mikey, Gar Mikey Garcia when he fought Salido, total domination. So, uh, you know, tonight's going to be very interesting, you know what I mean? Especially because Juan Manuel Lopez is barely shorter He's barely shorter than Mikey Garcia, so it's going to give Mikey Garcia even more of a reach advantage. Uh, you know, he'll be able to use his speed even more and, and move around Juan Manuel Lopez. And you know what? To be honest with you, I'm not quite sure how fresh Juan Manuel Lopez is. In his last fight, um, you know, he fought, he's had a few fights since the knockout loss of Salido. He's fought Silva Santos, he's fought Eugenio Lopez. Both were KO victories, but not really impressing nobody. You know what I mean? Not, not impressing me, definitely. So. We're going to talk about the, net, the last impressive person, which was Salido, which knocked him out. Uh, but, I mean, just if you watch Juan Manuel, Juan Manuel Lopez just in interviews and fights, he is slowing down. He definitely shows the signs of a beat-up fighter. Uh, punch drunk is what we call it in the boxing world. Uh, definitely showing these signs. So, I mean, with that being said, all those wars and stuff, I mean, the human body can only take so much. And Mikey Garcia is a fresh, young fighter. Um fresher than a 29 year old you know pretty much well weathered uh you know war ridden Juan Manuel Lopez as far as my prediction y'all I'm going with Mikey Garcia tonight it'll either be a knockout stoppage or a decision I'm gonna go with the knockout stoppage based on the fact that Marky, Mikey Garcia can punch when he gets going he can crack he has nice boxing skills good defense and he's very patient I think that he waits out Juan Manuel Lopez he waits him out he waits patiently, knocks him out with some, with some sort of a counter shot. And that's kind of what I see that's going to happen tonight. You got Mikey Garcia by victory, and uh, it's going to be nice. It's going to be a good fight either way. I hope you all enjoy it, and uh, 
y'all go ahead and get at me i'll do the pulse fight video after this so have a good night of boxing everybody and holla at your boy mr pound for pound out peace